Hey everyone and welcome to the Inside Scoop. I'm CNET's Cara Siboy, joined by Senior Managing Editor Kent German. And today Kent and I are talking all about the Samsung Galaxy S4, which was just announced on Thursday of this week. So we know a lot about the phone already, the specs, the features, mm -hmm. the size and all that, but I'm more curious to hear your thoughts on where this phone falls in the landscape of smartphones. Well, Samsung's done a good job of having its Galaxy S line. I mean, the, the image of it has been a little convoluted because they have some really low-end Galaxy models. But the Galaxy S, that's their flagship brand. Everybody knows it. Everybody's familiar with the device. The Galaxy S3 was very popular, successful. And with this device, you know, it's not a huge step forward beyond the Galaxy S3, but it is taking that phone, inching it a little, throwing almost every spec imaginable in it, getting the screen a little bigger. So it's a nice little push forward for, for them. And I think it's going to be very successful. As far as the S3 users, is it worth them breaking contract to get this phone? You know, probably not. I mean, okay. it would depend on what kind of deals the carriers offer if they come back and they say, well, you know, you can extend your contract and we'll still give you money off. Um, possibly, mm -hmm. but I don't think from the outset, not really. And outside of the whole Android family, is it worth people jumping platforms? I mean, do you really see iOS users hopping over to get their hands on the S4? No, I don't. I mean, I think if, maybe, but, you know, if somebody's really committed to iOS, they always have been, they're probably always going to be. So I don't see this phone in particular making someone switch over to Android. I think it's really difficult to talk about the S4 release without talking about yesterday's announcement. Oh, yeah. There was roughly, what, a 45-minute, hour-long spectacle, for lack of a better word. Yeah, it's a good word, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on that, that whole, you know, dog and pony show and what that really says about the company and the audience they're going after? Well, you know, Samsung has always sort of done this theatrical performance thing. You know, a few years ago, a few years ago at CES, they had a little kid run around on a wolf's head and talk about using the devices at home, and that was very bizarre. <laughs> and then a few years ago, Mobile Congress, they had dancers and trapeze artists. So they've always sort of tried to throw in this real theatrical um, aspect to its performances or to its uh, press conferences. Mm -hmm. And you know, they really can't go the route of maybe what Apple would do, of just having a couple execs up there talking about the phone because then they'd be criticized for being boring. Sure. So I think Samsung's trying to do something different. I don't think yesterday was quite what they should have done <laughs> as far as some of the performances on stage, but it's very Samsung to do what they did yesterday. A little bizarre, tried to be a little crazy, but maybe the execution not really what it should be. Do you think it really resonated with their target audience? Well, I don't think that, I don't know what their target audience is, I guess, for, from point. this presentation. Good point. I yeah. was looking at it and saying, well, I don't, this phone really is for everybody. Like, in have seen this review, we, or first take, we say it's for people that really want a high power, powered Android phone, it's for people that isn't. So I don't think the phone has a clear target market right now, and from yesterday's presentation, I don't know who they're going for. <laughs> Samsung is a Korean company, so perhaps there is something lost in translation. Sure, there is. I mean, there's always, you know, you're talking about a company that's born and bred in Korea. They're incredibly powerful in Korea. And, you know, there's, they, they do have to transfer that sort of corporate image into different cultures. And there's always, you know, that's going to be fraught with complications. And so I think we might have seen a little bit of that yesterday. Yeah. Well, let's hope that the phone speaks for itself. I, yeah, let's hope so, because <laughs> the presentation didn't. <laughs> Senior Managing Editor Kent German, I'm Kara Suboy. Thanks for watching the Inside Scoop.